What's up, everybody? It's Josh coming at you from Nerd Ventures Tower. And holy mother loving love or mothers, guys, there's a brand new report out there about a massive sequence that was cut from Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. It involves Wanda, it involves the Illuminati, and it's where Magneto would have come into play in the film. And so let's talk about this. Let's break it down. I unfortunately think this will probably upset some people because they'll be like, dude, this is awesome. Like, why wasn't this in the film? And we'll talk about that at the end of the video because I think a lot of this stuff is still on the table for Wanda in almost any universe as we head towards Secret Wars because I still think that the Darkhold and the prophecy in the chapter about her in the Darkhold is very important to where this is all going for Marvel. Okay, so this was retweeted by My Time to Shine Hello, who I continue to believe is actually very reliable and a lot of what they were talking about lined up perfectly what was in uh, the film. This is coming from a story that was grabbed up, I believe, on MovieScope. MovieScope is the article, but they have a summary of the points here from a mod on the Marvel Studios spoiler subreddit. Oh my god, this is so cool. All right, check this out. It says, in the original cut of the movie, this Wanda storyline was going to be probably the darkest thing Marvel Studios had ever done in an MCU movie. But the sole purpose of that scene was to place the Illuminati in a far more antagonistic perspective for the audience than how it was ultimately received in the final cut. Okay, so I'm gonna stop for a second there just because I have continued to say in different videos and streams that that group of Illuminati, not good people. We were meant to see how dark they were and what lengths they were willing to go to, uh, not just that Doctor Strange, but all of them. I mean, they literally murdered Steven in front of all of them. Uh, and I just continue to believe antagonistic group of folks but this would have really pushed it okay so uh originally when the doctor strange variant of that universe encounters the dark hold he also comes across the chapter that detailed the scarlet witch prophecy he informed the illuminati of his findings and they all came to the conclusion of performing a lobotomy on their universe's wanda so as to prevent the prophecy from ever happening in that universe this lobotomy would be performed by none other than their resident telepath charles xavier who was meant to remove wanda's access to her abilities thus creating the domestic wanda variant in order to perform this lobotomy they needed to consult wanda's biological father which is where the deleted scene with michael fassbender as magneto would have come into play ultimately the scene was cut because it deviated too much from the main storyline and the concept of making heroes like the illuminati the villains didn't necessarily test well on screen and oh man i have so many thoughts about this i mean first of all again it kind of just makes me really feel that yeah i was right when i called that that illuminati not a good group of people and just wow they were that was going to be very very apparent uh in the movie but i can see why it would have tested poorly because at that point it's just like a lot of villains out there in the multiverse and, and maybe you would even consider wanda's actions of killing them to be a little bit justified also there is something to be said for themes in the movie kind of from the optics perspective seemingly uh you know belittling wanda or really just not treating her well as a character and in some ways there's like these uh these themes uh for female characters that some people were super triggered by that were in the movie and so you can imagine if the illuminati created the domesticated version of Wanda and that it was literally a lobotomy that Charles Xavier did like yeah that probably wouldn't have played very well which is likely why the film tested so poorly originally and was remade into what it is now this also really reminds me of what Charles Xavier does to Jean Grey and Phoenix and sort of shutting off her own parts of her power to her in the comic books and even Logan in the comics unless this was a uh, retcon I believe when Wolverine was first sent to Charles he was actually sent as an assassin to kill him and Charles Xavier like wipes his mind and just turns him into one of his X-Men like in the comics and in the X-Men community it's sort of this ongoing thing that Charles Xavier is actually not a good dude and that he's done some horrible stuff and then a scene with Magneto where Charles goes to Magneto and is talking about his daughter and the threat she poses to the multiverse and why he has to shut her down and maybe Magneto goes along with that like holy crap super super dark stuff there and I can again see why this didn't test well and why people would have had a big big problem with it but as a comic book fan it seems freaking awesome like it seems like a ton of fun stuff from comics that would 
totally work in the film. And it's crazy that Marvel was considering this dark of a plot line and they were playing around with these concepts and ideas. I think it just sort of shows where Michael Waldron's head was at for this movie and what Marvel is looking to do in the future of their slate. Because as we head towards Secret Wars, I really do think that you need to create stakes and you need to create darkness in order to elevate those feelings, right? So this Illuminati being way more dark, doing this to Wanda, I think would have been fantastic. But again, I totally see why it was cut from the film. Now, another part of this that's just awesome to me as a big MCU fan is that it shows that the Scarlet Witch prophecy was originally a huge deal for even that group of Illuminati. And it's something that's obviously on the mind of Kevin Feige, Michael Waldron, Sam Raimi, and everybody else that is crafting the MCU as we continue on uh, towards Secret Wars. And the big thing for me has been that ever since WandaVision and a lot of other projects that have come out since, I've really been convinced that this prophecy and the Darkhold itself and Wanda is something like a replacement for the Molecule Man in Jonathan Hick Men's Secret Wars from 2015. And this again just shows how important that concept was to that reality, to that Illuminati, and to Marvel Studios. And again, for the function of the film, it's much better the way that it was on screen, but I'm sure I'm not the only one that is wishing some more of this crazy stuff would have been in the movie. I mean, we just heard that Daniel Craig was going to be Balder the Brave, that they shot scenes apparently with Ghost Rider, that Tom Cruise was absolutely an idea that Michael Waldron had. And it just seems like a lot of really fun, nerdy things were ultimately removed from the multiverse of madness. And I know that does sting. And I know a lot of fans are probably like, yo, where's all this crazy fun stuff? And I get it. But I sort of want to just say to you guys that I'm not like down on this. I'm not bummed about this because I continue to believe that a lot of this stuff is still on the table. Magneto is likely coming to 616 and 838 might still play a big role. I did a whole video about how every single Illuminati member that died in that scene with Wanda could still be alive, be resurrected via the Time Stone or other means. Go check that video out. It's really, really fun. But what I'm saying is a lot of these ideas that they were playing around with absolutely still on the table for Marvel Studios moving forward. And I think a lot of the stuff in here is dark. It's crazy. It pulls from amazing comic book stuff. Oh man, I would have loved to see Michael Fassbender Magneto doing a scene with Patrick Stewart as Professor Xavier, that juice, that flavor from the comics. I would have absolutely loved it. And I hope that it's coming in the future. And so I just want to bring this up to you guys because I think it's crazy and again I still think a lot of this stuff is coming and I just uh, man it's just such a wild time for Marvel right now like crazy things are coming I absolutely promise you that so let me know what you think about this leaked sequence some of the ideas that I talked about in the video let me know what you think about all of it in the comments section below